Microsoft Codename Longhorn is arguably the most famous unreleased version of Windows to date. It went through a bumpy and long development cycle before ultimately being scrapped for Windows Vista. Today, let's dive into the major builds and the history of Longhorn in this episode of Relook. The first build of Longhorn to be leaked to the public was build 3683. Longhorn build 3683 was compiled on September 23rd, 2002. Due to this build being early in its development, Longhorn build 3683 shows a striking resemblance to its Windows XP underpinnings. Big features include the desktop composition engine and the successor to Luna, Plex. The desktop composition engine added various effects seen all the way into Windows 7. On the login screen, Longhorn 3683 shows a metallic design with a small clock in the upper right hand corner. This Plex visual style is apparent in the taskbar and start menu as well. The title bars are also centered in this version of Windows similar to the centering in Windows 8. The Avalon engine also gave Windows Longhorn a graphical subsystem for rendering user interfaces. Windows Explorer was also given a small update with previewing along with other small features. Microsoft wanted Longhorn to be a minor update compared to Windows XP, yet the Longhorn team began to introduce many new features. As more and more features were added, the system became bloated and unstable. Due to this, Microsoft reset the development of Longhorn on August 28, 2006. Longhorn 4093 was leaked on August 28, 2006 and was the last version compiled hours before development was reset. It was a last ditch effort to get any features into Windows Longhorn before the project would be erased and written from scratch. Many features in this version tend to be buggy since the developers did not have time to perfect them. Build 4093 uses the new slate graphical theme as opposed to Plex in Longhorn 3638. The Windows sidebar also makes an appearance in this build. Certain tiles can be added to the sidebar similarly to how sidebar gadgets are added in Windows Vista. These help with simple tasks such as keeping time, using shortcuts, searching, and more. The start menu is also tweaked in this version of Longhorn. The start button is given a green hover effect and the start menu is given new icons. Yet, the menu is still organized similarly to Windows XP. Windows Explorer was also given a graphical update and reorganized with new images and colors representing different processes in Longhorn. A new and more effective search engine interface was also developed in Longhorn. It is accessible through the sidebar or the search program. After the reset of Windows Longhorn, Build 5048 was the first step to recreating the operating system. Build 5048 was built on a source code of an early version of Windows Server 2003. The design also looks similar to Windows XP, however, a buggy version of Arrow can be enabled through a command. A search box is integrated into the start menu, however, it is very primitive in development. The search box that is introduced into Windows Explorer is also very buggy. Longhorn build 5384, or Vista Beta 2, really begins to show what the final version of Vista will be. A new welcome window is shown when you log into the system, and arrow is tweaked to look more modern. The sidebar also receives a new look with this arrow update. The start button is given a glossy Windows logo, and the start menu gains a black gradient. Updates are also given to the control panel and explore. Windows Media Center is available in this build as an update to the previous version in Windows XP. Longhorn definitely had its ups and downs, but in the end, Vista was created. Microsoft may have never learned to control what their operating systems were supposed to be if they didn't go through this hardship. Luckily, Vista's legacy lives on today in modern versions of Windows. See you in the next Relook! Relook.